Hey guys, it's Doris from Look Amazing and I'm back with another video and I'll be chatting about my favorite tote bags that are ideal for work but also everyday use and I'll be starting off with my newest one and then working my way back to the one I've had the longest. So if you guys do have any questions that I don't answer in the video, definitely let me know down in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to start off with my newest tote bag and this one is the Ashby Tote by Carl Friedrich and I just really love this one because it pretty much satisfies everything I was looking for in a tote bag and that's why I'm also really excited to partner with them on this video and Carl Friedrich is really known for their minimal aesthetic and you can really see that here in this bag it just features very simple and elegant look clean lines and just has their logo lightly embossed on the front so it's very subtle and I just really love the construction as well very high quality this one is made with vachetta leather out of Tuscany Italy which is a really premium leather that is actually used in a lot of luxury handbags such as Louis Vuitton so you're really getting a nice premium leather and this type of leather does age beautifully in a process they call patina so just normal wear and oils from your hand will start to kind of add a little bit more character to the bag and I can already see that just by having worn it the sides of it just has a little bit more of that natural leather look from when I first got this bag also I really love how sturdy the leather is and it just gives it this really nice structure to the bag the bag also hangs nicely off the shoulders the straps are comfortable and I don't find them slipping off my shoulder. And overall, I just really love this clean look of this bag. Very simple, yet elegant, and also functional, which is why I'm getting to the inside of it. And as you can see, it features a zipper, which is, I find, so rare in a lot of structured totes. So I was really excited about this feature for this bag. And I also love the fact that you can easily leave it open if you want to take things in and out, but you can just easily close it so all of your belongings are secure. The inside is lined with this nice Cordura fabric, so very durable. And I love how it has a spacious center, but compartments on each side. So one side, it features a slot for your iPad or your laptop, and then two slots for your pens. And the other side features a more secure compartment, so it has a zipper closure. And here you can put things like your wallet or your keys, and then also three smaller compartments to slip any other small items in. And lastly, I love how the inside you can also personalize it. So I have my initials embossed on there. And yeah, just overall, I thought they were really thoughtful when they thought about the different types of compartments to include in here. And that's why I don't feel the need to have to add another organizer into this tote. But I obviously went with classic black, but this tote actually also comes in cognac as well as Fingo Brown. And lastly, the price point of this, because it is made such a high quality materials, I actually expected the price point to be higher, but since they are a brand that sells directly to the consumer, so no middleman, they're able to offer a more affordable price. So this bag is priced at 395 pounds. Overall, I really think this is a great tote bag to invest in. It has such a classic, beautiful look that won't go out of style. And then it just features really functional compartments that I feel like suit a lot of your everyday needs, especially mine. So yeah, overall, I think the quality too will stand the test of time. So yeah, one of my favorite tote bags. So on to the next tote bag. This one is the Large Tote by Lancer Gabrielle. And this one does come in a couple different color combinations. And I went with the black exterior and then the flama interior, which is this red matte interior. And I just love this combination because it's kind of serious and more classic on the outside. And then you get this fun pop of red that peeks through, makes it a little bit more fun and unique. And it kind of reminds me of my Christian with the Tom Pumps. But overall, I just think this bag has a very simple aesthetic as well. Very minimal and they just have their logo embossed really small in the front and gold. So this is made with Italian vegetable tan leather and it is a very sturdy leather but it's not too stiff. It's stiff enough where it adds structure to the bag but not too stiff so that when I do carry this bag under my arm it nicely tucks under because there is no formal closure. I like the fact that it still has a little bit of give 
and then the leather itself has worn really nicely. It has a few scratches here and there, but because of the way the leather wears, it actually blends in nicely the more I wear it because it does soften up a little bit because of the creases on the leather, so it kind of blends in with it. And in terms of the interior, I can actually carry a lot of things in this tote because it is completely wide open. It's also very simple, minimal inside. But I do like the fact that you can secure any of your important belongings in the zipper pouch, which is also detachable. So I like to put my wallet and keys in here. And then if I'm just running into the store to grab something quick and I don't want to carry my tote, I'll just detach it. So yeah, so I like the versatility of this feature. Since the middle is completely open and the bag doesn't have a closure, I did notice that my things were moving around quite a bit, especially when I was in transit. So I did get this red insert slash organizer to put inside the tote, and this one fit really nicely. Now I have a lot of little compartments to easily organize my things, and everything stays in place. And I just have a lot of room on top to put like a sweater on, and that really keeps everything secure. So in terms of price point, it is $585 USD. I just really love how this tote is flexible in terms of it accommodates a lot more bulkier items. But overall, just really love the minimal aesthetic and a very classic and elegant tote as well. Next tote I have here is the Kleana Classic Zipper Leather Tote. And I went with the caramel color. It does come in several different colors. And it does feature a very simple design as well. And this one has a classic zipper on the top and gold hardware. But this leather is just really nice and soft and buttery. This is made in Argentina. And the pebbled leather is just a little bit easier to take care of. It's not as prone to scratches as the other ones that I showed you guys earlier. So you can also personalize this tote by embossing your initials on here. But I decided to not do it for this one in particular. and just wanted to keep it clean and simple. And the inside of it right now does have stuffing in it because I wanted to show you guys kind of the full expanded size of the tote. But once I take the stuffing out, the tote pretty much flattens out. It's not that structured. So it gives it a little bit more of that softer, softer, relaxed look. So it's also a great tote that I use on the weekends. So with the interior of this bag, it is unlined. It does have one organizational compartment. So it's a zipper pocket with a pouch pocket in front. So I like to put any of my little items in here. And then it is roomy enough for a laptop and all my other a little bit slightly bulkier items also fit nicely in here. So overall, this bag has been really great for both work as well as every day. I actually use this for travel as well because I find that it's easy to carry inside my luggage since it folds really nice and flat. So yeah, so another really great tote that is also very versatile. Oh, and also one last thing is that the price point of this tote is $195 USD. And the last tote I have here is the Long Shop Lift Liage Tote. I've actually owned this one for more than 10 years now. It started off as my work tote, transitioned to kind of my everyday weekend slash travel, and then most recently it's been my diaper bag. So this one does feature a very durable nylon material, and then it has leather accents, so leather handles with this leather flap snap closure. So I think these little details elevate the bag a little bit more than just a simple kind of nylon bag. And then it does have a zipper closure on top. So the best part of this is that you can actually fold it up into a small square or rectangle and that makes it very convenient for travel. So overall, I just have really great things to say about this bag. The only thing is that the corners have worn just a little bit. I think there's a tiny hole and other than that, you can't really tell I've owned this bag for that long. And let's take a look at the interior. So the interior of this one is very simple. So it just has a wide open pocket and then just a side pocket, but no zipper closure. So I don't tend to put things in here because I do find that sometimes it does fall out. So I instead, because I've been recently using this as a diaper bag, I bought an insert to more easily organize it. But before that, I was just using it like this because I find that it does have a little bit of structure to it because 
the nylon material does give it a little bit more of a sturdier feel, but at the same time, it's soft enough to collapse. So overall, I think this is just a great, versatile, and durable bag, and it pairs really nicely with your professional wear, as well as your casual wear. And the price point of this is $145 USD. And that's it for my favorite work tote bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. I have also listed everything below in the description box if you're interested in checking it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.